Hey everybody, it's Sylvia Dana and I just signed up for Constant Contact. Now, it's I'm trying it, I'm just trying it. Um, the reason I'm signing up for Constant Contact is I do have MailChimp right now. Um, I really haven't used it in a while because my, real, my hope was to use KV Core for my mass emails and newsletters. But, you know, you can't, re you can't see who opened. You know, you cannot see in KV Core who opened your email. So let me give you uh, uh, just a little tip here. So if you ever wanted to send a mass email from KV Core, you know, you, go, you can um, go to Smart Campaigns and create a template. Now, I'm not going to teach on this right now. I just briefly want to show this to you in case you ever want to know. So to search for, let's say, a newsletter email, um, you, can, you can type in newsletter. And the one that they have here for you is called newsletter. And you'll know it's not yours because it will be cloned. It will force you to clone it. And then when you clone it, it's going to go into its advanced email newsletter. And it makes a copy, and then it just kind of gives you a template here. So, and then you can kind of fill it in with a new picture and new, obviously, text and link it and all that good stuff. And I'm trying to scroll down, but I don't have a mouse, so it's always a challenge. <clears throat> and it's KV Core, so it's extra challenging. But anyway, you get the idea. Here we go. Okay. So, so you can add your own images and your own stuff. So it's kind of a template for you. Um, I like to create my own. But anyway, then once you've got a, a basic outline of what you want to do here, then you can save the template as your own thing. So my newsletter template, whatever the case may be. And then once you have your template, you go here to Back to Marketing Autopilot. And you can go to schedule an email. And then from here, you click on schedule email. And you can choose what you want to do. So let's say you want to do my um, uh, newsletter. There's here, this isn't, uh, let's see, sorry, newsletter. I don't, really, I don't know which one's which here. <laughs> let's see what this one is. It's one of my newsletters I was playing with or messing around with. I don't know if it's complete. I'm not actually going to do it. I'm just showing you. Yeah, it's not actually complete. But anyway, so you're going to put it there. Let's say it's all done. You're good. You don't have any more editing to do to it. And from here, um, you can choose when to send it. So let's say I want to send it tomorrow morning um, at 8 a.m. And then I want to send it to all the contacts that meet a certain hashtag or all the contacts that meet the status of sphere and active lead, let's say. You can do up to three at a time. So if it only lets you do three, you can then um, send, you know, schedule another email to send to the other statuses. So you could send multiple. But anyway, so then once you're done, then you click schedule. And then, ta-da, it will be ready to go out. So that's great. It's all well and good. You can make pretty emails. But the problem is, and it's been this way forever, under business analytics, if I go to, uh, I think it's under KV Core Activity, you will notice that this perpetually says coming soon for lead response rates. I can't see... Um, how many emails were opened or how emails were clicked through. Um, I can't see who, I, if I had any bounces, hard bounces. I can't see if people unsubscribed um, all in one spot. So it's just, it, it just isn't going to work for my mass email efforts, unfortunately. So um, the reason I'm trying constant contact is because I'm, I'm going to do the Ricky Carruth challenge and send the weekly email, and he has a link provide you with a discounted rate for the first couple months of Constant Contact. And Constant Contact has a lot more support and coaching and help um, for free that MailChimp does not, and, um, and it costs the same. So 
ta-da, that's why I'm here. Now, what you can do, and I didn't know this till my, my constant contact coach called me today to see, you know, if, if I wanted to get started with things, um, that you can hook this up with KB Core. So I'm going to attempt to do that now <laughs> in front of you all, okay? All right. So um, I did log into my constant contact, and now I'm going to go back to my KB Core. And under Marketplace, I'm going to click on Marketplace here on the left-hand side. And then uh, I'm going to scroll down, and there is this little constant contact integration option. This little video to watch, this is an older video, um, I think. So this has been updated since then. So I'm just going to click on Add to KB Core and see what happens. I've not done this yet. We are doing this live right now, and I have no, oh, it wants $5 a month from me. That's a pain in the butt. Um, do I want to do that? Well, you know what? I'm going to do it one time. I'm going to do it over for one month, and then all future ones I'm just going to add. That's what I'll do. Okay, fine. Jeez. What a pain, though. You guys, Realty Juggler um, is only like $150 for the entire year, and um, I can sync it with Constant Contact or MailChimp and never have to pay. Just FYI. Don't know if KB Core is listening, um, but just FYI. So then I have to put my information in here. And connect KB Core, which is sort of silly because I'm already connected, but that's okay. Now I'm going to connect Constant Contact. And that's nice. It automatically has my username and password there, so I am good. I don't have to remember what it is. I'm going to allow access. I'll sync all contacts on first run. Select type. Uh, this is not, I'm not sure about what to do here. Well, let me think about this here for a minute. I want to select everybody. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I see. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. I want to sync all my contacts on the first run and just call that good. And I will create a new list. If it lets me, KB Core list, and I'll click on Start Free Trial and see if it lets me do anything there. Great. Hang on, you guys. Hold, please. Okay, so there's my active workflows, KB Core people to constant contact. All right, so now I guess I'm ready. So if you haven't already, please confirm your account. All right, so now I'm going to go and confirm my account, I guess. Um, maybe. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So now I don't, I'll see if I have contacts in there yet. Don't know if I do, but let's see. Holy cow. Okay. It looks like they are in there. Um,. I don't see where it has a list of how many. Oh, okay. KV Core list 21. Okay, it must take a bit for them to get in there because I, I have more. Um, but that's how it works. That's how you get your contacts in there. Um, it looks like with KV Core, you can also do this with MailChimp. I imagine it looks different.